Welcome everyone. My goal for this video is to help you understand basic attention token and I'll split it up into four parts. Firstly, we'll start off with what is the token? So basic attention token, also known as BAT, is a cryptocurrency that runs on the Ethereum blockchain. It's an ERC20 token and an initial coin offering took place on May 31st, 2017, just around this time last year, where 1 billion BAT were sold for roughly three and a half cents each. And get this, the token was fully sold out in just 24 seconds, raising about $35 million from early investors. In layman terms, BAT can be used as an internet currency to pay users, to pay internet users for viewing ads on the internet. And it can also be used to pay content creators for the work they produce. And I'll explain this further on in the video. Secondly, I'm going to speak about the Brave browser. Now, this right here is an open source internet browser created by the team behind Basic Attention Token, and it's a fully functional browser that will be and already is a major competitor to Chrome and Safari. The really unique thing about the browser is that it blocks all ads and trackers, and every time you open a new tab, it actually tells you the aggregate total of ads and trackers blocked and also how much time you saved uh, while using this browser. Because Brave blocks ads and trackers, there's really three big advantages that are created. Firstly, it greatly reduces risk of infections from malware and spyware on your device. And if you click the little lion in the top right hand corner, you can actually see how many ads and trackers are blocked on the current page that you're viewing. Secondly, Brave saves you time because it loads websites much faster than other browsers. Here's a little illustration of some benchmark analytics on Brave versus Google Chrome. And you can see that Brave blows Chrome out of the water speed-wise when loading all of these major American news websites. Last but not least, Brave saves you a surprising amount of money. People don't understand how much of their internet bill goes towards downloading ads and trackers. So everyone can actually save a few dollars every month by simply using the Brave browser. From personal use, Brave is now the only browser that I use and I've even gotten my parents and grandmother to switch over to the Brave browser uh, simply because they are easily manipulated into clicking on pop-up ads and downloading malware on their computer through everyday browsing. So this danger is now nullified due to Brave's ad-free and tracker-free experience. They're also saving a lot of money on their internet bills, which is a big bonus. You're now probably wondering how BAT and Brave work together. So if I click here and go to preferences, then payments, what you see here is your Brave wallet. You can send basic attention token to this wallet. Right now I have 191 BAT. And if your Brave payment preferences are turned on, something that is fully optional when using the Brave browser, what happens is you pick a monthly budget to contribute via the bat that you have in your wallet and Brave will automatically send micro donations to publishers from sites that you've recently viewed on the internet based on the time you spend on each website or channel. Users can customize this whitelist of sites here. So let's say I don't want to donate to Engadget nor Dow Jones, I can simply delete them and no donations will go to them. You can also pin specific sites or YouTube channels to receive a certain percentage of your monthly budget and all the other sites on your whitelist will adjust accordingly to the percentage that you choose. Another feature expected to be released soon is the opportunity for you to get paid for your attention. Now the formula for getting paid will go something like this. Firstly, advertisers will pay publishers in basic attention token to share ads on websites. Secondly, Brave users have the option to opt into viewing ads and there will be an option to set specific parameters on what you want to see or what you're interested in. And the ads that come up will be of much fewer quantity, but much higher quality. Third, Brave users will receive a portion of BAT from the ad sale for their attention. And lastly, BAT can then be used as a means to support content creators through the system aforementioned, or it can be converted into another asset like the US dollar or Bitcoin. All in all, 
Uh, I think Brave and Bat really converge into an effortless way to support free sourced websites and YouTube channels. And I also see the ad industry becoming more efficient and organic, if you know what I mean, as ads can really be targeted towards a suitable audience that is incentivized and also interested in the ads that they're viewing. Finally, I'm going to briefly go over the team behind the project. The founder and visionary is Brendan Eich, and he has quite the resume under his belt. Brendan Eich is the co-founder of the Mozilla Project, which you probably know for the popular Firefox browser, and he's the creator of the JavaScript programming language. JavaScript is used for everything dynamic that you see on the web. So let's say I click this tweet here. This box that pops up actually calls JavaScript uh, for it to pop up. And if I favorite a tweet, the little animation of the sparks flying off the heart is JavaScript at work also. Without Brendan Ike and JavaScript, the internet wouldn't be remotely close to the interactive experience that it is today. So there's no doubt that you can place some faith in this prominent tech figure on his work with the Basic Attention Token project. Some other notable team members include Brian Bondi, an extraordinary software engineer who is a top percentile contributor on Stack Overflow, a site where people worldwide look for programming advice. And he was previously a lead dev at Khan Academy, and he also worked at Mozilla with Brendan Eich. Uh, Yanzu is a well-known privacy and security engineer. She's previously worked at Yahoo on email encryption, and she is going to be an important figure responsible for adding Tor inside the Brave browser. I mean, overall, the team is full of absolute productive powerhouses who are constantly applying new updates and generating new partnerships. Simply put, they're the real deal, uh, which is something very rare in the crypto space, and their work ethic along with partnerships definitely should not be overlooked by investors. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new today. Uh, I'll post a video on how to download the Brave browser, so stay tuned for that. And as always, uh, be prudent and have a good day.